Guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Ching, 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 ching. Today I'm going to be talking now about our range of sabiki mackerel jigs. Now we've got a wide range here and they're all different for different reasons. Basically the two main differences is the size hooks. So you get a size 6 hook and a size 4 hook. Size 6 hooks are for smaller bait fish. In other words, uh, red eyes and mozzies. The size 4 hook, which is a bigger hook, is more for your mackerel and your shad. Okay, so those are the two main reasons. Also, the length of the actual um, branches. When I talk about branches, where the sabiki comes off, those are slightly different. Uh, you get 5 centimeters and 7 centimeters. Obviously, 7 centimeters being a little bit longer, so there's more movement in it, and 5 being a bit shorter. Um, also, the branch length between them. Uh, varies as well. Um, the smaller the hook, the shorter it is, and also the more hooks we have on it. Obviously you catch more fish because they are smaller, so they shoal a lot. We're going to start off straight off the beginning with the most probably one of the most popular ones, which is our red sabiki. And this one here, if I remember correctly, is a size 4 hook. And um, yeah, that for our mackerel fishing is most probably one of the most important ones that we sell here we get what they call a fish skin. So there we go. That will be a size 4 and that will be a size 6. Now basically again it's the hook size that changes. Why use a fish skin? A fish skin gives a bigger profile in the water. So it looks, it's more visible especially in the dirty water. Okay, so you get a size 4 and a size 6 in it. Then we've got our standard ones, again, also size 4 and size 6. They are chartreuse. Chartreuse, again, is a very, very good color for nighttime fishing, as well as overcast conditions. So those are the, the main range that we do in our sabikis. I'm just going to quickly show you how we rig it. I'm going to grab one of our sabiki rods, as well as our just a reel. It doesn't make a difference what reel. You can use a KP. You can use a coffee grinder, it doesn't make a difference. So this is our sabiki rod. I'm just going to lean across here quickly and grab it. Okay. So this is an 8 foot sabiki rod. And how we rig it is very simple. You'll take your monofilament, slide it all the way through to the bottom. We take our, and I'm going to use a fish skin, and this is a size 6, it's a very small one. The size 6s in that fish skins all come with swivels attached to them. The standard ones, like these over here, do not come with any um, swivel whatsoever. So we take the first one off. Let's leave that down there. As we pull it off, you can see how the arm comes up. You don't want the arm to be down. So in other words, if the sinker was on here and the sabiki was on that side, it's not going to give it any movement in the actual water. So remember, that way, where the arm comes out at right angles, is facing up, and the sinker will be on the bottom one. So we're going to take our swivel and attach it to our line. Okay, here we go. So there we go. One, two, three. Okay, so as you can see, there's the first one, and we just pull it ever so lightly, and it comes off, comes off, comes off. And as we do that, don't forget to not try and get it all knotted up. So the easiest way of doing that is to just take our rod, and we just wind up ever so slightly, so it doesn't get knotted like that. There we go, there we go, and we carry on going. 
and we want it to be the length of our sabiki rod or slightly less. Um, bearing in mind that there are 10 mackerel jigs on a string of fish skins and there are six there's only six on that one because it's got the longer arms like I said as well as the distance between each one is slightly longer okay so we just wind it up and I want to see the length so I know exactly where to snip this one and there we go so what we do here is at the bottom one over there and there is just give you a quick idea two four six seven of the fish skins and then we just cut it with the scissors I'm just gonna bite it off otherwise it does not fit into the sabiki rod tie our sinker on there we go <clears throat> okay so that is what it needs to look like when you put it in the water with the arm coming out okay very important now how the sabiki rod actually works and I'm just gonna step back so you can actually see how it goes through the eye of the actual rod and I'm just gonna point it down so you can see so there is the rod now what happens is as you wind I'm just gonna do this quickly there we go have a look the jigs actually go into the eye okay so I'm gonna quickly do it again and wind up again and that's how it works now when we're fishing and I'm just gonna stand back a bit all you're gonna do is drop it over the actual side of the boat like so down to where you can see the fish on your finder say it's three turns off the bottom and then you just sit there and lightly move it up and down just so it gives the sabiki a little bit of movement so all you're doing is up and down up and down slowly not as fast as I'm doing it just slowly like that and the current will actually move the sabikis and again once you're ready you wind it up and all the sabikis go into the top eye nice for packing away you don't have and again when you're traveling you don't have all these sabikis flapping around in your face that's what makes the sabiki rod so good and just once again I'm just gonna do it and here we go wind it up wind it up wind it up and all the sabikis go into it it's as easy as that guys so as far as mackerel jigs or sabikis go I personally prefer the red one over here for catching um, mackerel and the fish skins work very very well for the red eyes that we get around Durban and that and of course shad fishing you can't go wrong with chartreuse early morning if you want to catch shad for live bait there we go now another very nice little thing that we carry here at the Kingfisher are our yo-yos which is basically a little holder like it so once you come back from fishing um, you take your your jigs off um, once you've finished fishing you can wash your mackerel jigs off and you stick your hooks your first hook over in that little groove and we just wrap it up and I'm just going to show you quickly how we do it um, I'm just going to take any one okay I'm just going to take this one yeah so as you can see there's our mackerel jigs or our sabikis loosen that one now for storage purposes once you've come back from fishing you're gonna go back in a couple of days time you wash it off take the loop stick it in and all we do is we just wrap it around and let me come back here take the back part of it and stick it into the actual yo-yo uh, and just carry on going and again you just give it a little bit of a pull a tug on it and you carry on going Hook it up once again, and just carry on going. Mm. 
There we go. And again. Till you get to the last jig. Do this, do this, do this. Till we get to the last jig. And the last little loop goes over it like that. And you can store it away in your your storeroom, just like that. And when it comes to fishing again, all you just undo it, attach it to your rod, and you're good to go. Just a little thing that works quite well for your mackerel jigs for storing after usage. Okay guys, that's it, enjoy.